Nadia Tribe, it's your girl Nadia here and I am back with another video and this video is going to be a Tribe Tea video. I know you guys love Tribe Teas, you guys love being up on here or whatever. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hop right into it. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. As soon as you become a part of the tribe, you can see your stories on videos like this. This video a thumbs up if you like any of the stories I tell. If you like a video, like it, okay? To work on liking videos, guys. And we post every Wednesday through Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Click the notification bell to give yourself a little extra reminder. Close this door, because I keep hearing noise. We're not about to do a paranormal video. No, we're not. This is called The Fakest Bitch I Got Dragged. Okay. Roger, I love your videos. Grab your drink because this might be long. Oh, well, girl, you know, I got my vape. I can't be day drinking. That's not cute. <laughs> not all the times, anyway. So, basically, I'm a shy person until you get to know me, and my moods flip a lot, so I don't have many friends. I'm not bipolar, and I hate it when people ask me just because my attitude changes when I get around them. Yeah, that is pretty offensive. So, there's this girl named Alexis, and she was known around the school for being fake and untrustworthy, so I do the kind thing and start to talk to her. Okay, that was not a kind thing. That was a dumb thing. If somebody is known for being fake and untrustworthy, why would the kind thing be to befriend her like if she came to you that's different but you were like you know what i'm gonna go out my way to go and befriend this girl that everybody thinks is a snake that sounds like a great idea <laughs> so i started to talk to her and i'm like she's not that bad and she can handle being around me even when i flip my shit around her i went through this girl named sila's phone and i found out she was talking about zoe and i told zoe my darkest secret so i was like at the end of the day i'm going to tell zoe because i would do the same Wait, so you went through another girl's phone and found out that another girl, not the girl who you call the Lexus, this other girl, that has nothing to do with Alexis, um, you went through her phone and found out that she was talking about one of your best friends. Sela and I argue and I don't know why she chose this time to argue. I expose her nudes at the beginning of the year. Girl, you're fucked up for that. Don't be exposing nobody's nudes. You can get arrested. I knew I was in the wrong, but at the moment, I was talking reckless and didn't care what would happen. I used to fight my brother and sister all the time, so I thought I knew what I was doing. Damn, okay. So we got on the bus, and she's all hype again, but I'm calm, and I'm just watching her yell while trying to figure out who she's talking to. We get off the bus, and we fight. More like I got my ass beat, damn, because I, was, I wasn't upset, and she pulled my hair the whole time. I already knew that our relationship changed. Alexis was starting to be fake. She would talk to me or she would roll her eyes when I came around. So is Alexis and Sela the same person or what? Like I'm confused. I'm so confused. I'm not going to beg someone to talk to me so I save my distance. When we were outside during our class she came and sat next to me so I moved and she came and sat next to me again. This happened twice. If you don't like someone why would you out of your way to sit close to them? This girl walked up to me and asked if I had a problem with Alexis and I was like, I think that she's fake and I don't want to be close to her. Alexis sat next to me again after talking to the girl so I got up and asked the girl what she told Alexis. Alexis followed me so I left and as I walked away she said, you better move with your bipolar dick sucking ass. I wanted to turn around and bite the fuck out of her. Why would you bite her? But I had been taking anger management. Next year we have to go to school together and I don't know if I should talk so we can clear the air just leave it alone girl this sounds very juvenile and immature like girl stop talking to her don't be her fucking friend like i don't get it and it does sound like you have anger issues you might want to go seek some help for that because biting people is really gross and you could actually get sick from biting somebody um but yeah it's really confusing you use a lot of different names i don't know if you accidentally put the girl's real name in there or what but yeah um leave that alone Leave it alone. Everybody else told you that's how she was going to be. You figured out that's how she really is. What's the point of even continuing? Just leave her the fuck alone. And take some fighting classes. You can't be angry and popping off on people and not know how to fight. Like, come on now. Go take some boxing, some kickboxing, or some self-defense. Okay, this one is called Granny Can't Get Beat. Girl. <laughs> What's up, boo? My real name is blank, but please call me Bella for this video. Why does everybody want to be called Bella? Like, is that just like the, the name right now? I don't know. Alright, so jumping right into it, my significant other and I have been dating since we were 14 off and on. We are now 22 and 23. Damn. Recently I found out that we are having our first child. So here's the tea, bitch. My significant other, let's call him F, are both different races. 
I am Korean and black and he is Vietnamese and Japanese. My family is pretty open but his family like damn near everyone else in the world hates black people because the media makes us look like villains. Damn but like even though you're half Korean like damn they're just not even gonna okay. Mm. Now like I said before we have been on and off since high school so the fact that his racist ass family tried to play me like I'm after his money and try to steal from him is bullshit right like i mean shit you're you've been there like you've been there for this long like shit like y'all might as well get over it while going to pick up his little cousin from his grandmother's house she yelled don't let that black bitch stay in the car alone she will steal yeah grandma can't get beat grandma can't get beat who who are you grandma can get beat when i tell you i am only a couple weeks pregnant and i will still be an old bitch ass honey i mean that but i'm not gonna lie she shocked me a little and i knew she wanted to act ghetto in her rich ass gated ass community but i had to kindly remind her which one of us is in med school and who married into money her bitch ass really was trying to cause a scene so i just got back in the car and wait for my man to get back when f gets back in the car he was silent me and his cousin both exchanging looks like well he didn't check on her he didn't check her or anything so i was like he bitch made or what since he didn't say anything i called my mom because his granny hurt my feelings i told her everything and he started s signing singing all loud like my mom went and popped him through the phone what do you mean signing i don't know i don't know finally hang up with my mom and this nigga decided to speak oh he was sighing like huffing and puffing okay he told me i was being dramatic because i know that his family's from another country in a different time period then he fixed his mouth to say that i should teach them how to love black people sir what i mean shit like literally you've been there for how long and they still don't realize that not all people regardless of any race is the same like that's not somebody else's job to teach somebody that that's something that they should be realizing on their own and the fact that they haven't realized that it's kind of appalling honestly i got so upset i just couldn't deal with him i tried to explain to him how hurtful those words are and even use the example of my mom telling me to not leave him around my undies because he's half japanese niggas still did not get it for the last three days, I've been with my parents instead of our shared apartment, but he picks me up for work since I'm not driving after a car accident. I have avoided the topic, but with us having a kid soon, I know it needs to be addressed. I don't feel like it's my responsibility to explain how we are black people, have been blackballed by society and the media, and that we aren't all thieves. Do you think I overreacted, and how should I address this entire mess? Thanks, boo. Love you take a shot for me <laughs> we're not day drinking <laughs> honestly you guys are bringing a child into the world his family's gonna have to get the fuck over it it's pretty much set in stone that you are going to be in their life forever they're gonna have to get over it same as how your mom is gonna have to get over doing the whole derogatory japanese hold on the whole derogatory japanese statements also like you guys all just need to realize well your parents all need to realize that it's gonna be the way it is but your boyfriend also needs to stick up for you to his parents the same way that you stick up for him to your mom when she makes japanese comments like there has to that's how you teach them to stop is when you keep backfiring at their comments and correcting them like hey that's not correct don't say that i love this person this is going to be the mother of my child this is going to be the father of my child like y'all need to as a unit be on the same page he can't be enabling his people you can't be enabling your people and sooner or later it may come around it may not but at the end of the day y'all are stuck with each other because there is a child involved and they're just gonna have to get over it all right so i'm thinking about doing one more because those two really weren't as juicy as i would like it says fuck his best friend and make him yes man i don't know what that means but we're about to find out hi Nadja. first things first i love you and your channel thanks boo i was on shrooms when i first seen your videos oh my god <laughs> which helped me with my trip well i'm glad i helped you not have a bad trip <laughs> okay i guess that's what people are watching me for now anyways i watched your tribe t videos and thought why not send my story going to be honest this is a whole story i was 16 when this happened and now i'm currently 20. I made stupid choices and did stupid things, but I learned from them. Let's get into the story. I met this guy, Ricky. Ricky was the same age as me. He skated and smoked a lot of weed, also had a best friend, and we'll call him Michael. I met Ricky through friends. Him and I hit it off. We texted, had phone calls, hung out, and all that good stuff. I thought things were going really good for a couple of months. 
now we're dating. We had that relationship where we called each other babe and stuff, but weren't together. So basically, y'all were not in a relationship. Y'all, like, what it, like, I don't get it. Like, y'all, y'all people need to establish y'all boundaries. I know y'all don't, you in particular probably know this now because you're older, but girls, establish what the fuck you want from these boys before you start letting them fuck you like if you want a relationship and they don't don't give them the box if you don't want a relationship and they do save them the pain and don't give up the box like it's that simple like don't be that no label ass shit but still putting in all the effort of a relationship because having no label is okay but the second where you're giving and giving and giving as if you're in a relationship that's when it's not okay he would tell me i'm his and that he's mine and all that bullshit one day out of nowhere he texts me saying he's been talking to another girl and he's leaving her for me damn so he had a girlfriend damn he was a side piece damn not gonna lie, Nadja, that broke me. I really liked him and got attached. His girlfriend blocked me on social media, but he still found a way to talk to me every day. He kept asking for forgiveness. So of course, the dumb 16 year old me forgave his ass. He would still flirt with me, asked to hang out. When I brought up his girlfriend, he would get quiet. He played mind tricks with me and fucked with my feelings. I said to myself, enough is enough. Get revenge and cut him off. Yes, yes, that's what we need. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I knew who his best friend was, but Michael and I really didn't talk. I hit him up one day and we started flirting and talking more. Meanwhile, I'm still talking to Ricky. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> one day, Ricky asked to hang out. I thought to myself, this is it. I'm going to play out my plan, Nadja. You already know what happened when we hung out. After that, Ricky told me all this stuff saying he's leaving his girlfriend and he wants me instead. He made a mistake. So he did. He left his girlfriend and asked me to be his girlfriend. I said no, because now I'm fucking Michael. Girl power, bitch. Girl power, okay. He was left with no girlfriend or boyfriend. To be honest, Nadja, thinking back at this, I do feel bad, dirty, and terrible. I wish I could take back what I did, but I can't. I was young, dumb, and I learned from my experience. After that happened, I didn't talk to Ricky again, and as for Michael, we're currently dating now. We've been for a couple of years. He makes me happy, and I love him. Thank you, Nadja, for reading my story. That was the end of it. <laughs> Keep your videos up. Looking forward to upcoming story times. Thanks, boo. Honestly, I would not feel bad about it at all. That is something that I totally would have done, and I wouldn't feel bad about it at all. And the beautiful thing from it is that you actually met somebody you had a connection with, and you're still in a relationship with them. So, I mean, kudos, bitch. Like you you turn grapes into wine i mean shit there was nothing wrong with that story i mean revenge is sweet okay if you guys want to submit any of your tribe teas the email is in the description below go ahead and shoot the shoot your shot but make sure it's a good shot make sure it's not a rebound okay we don't want to hear anything too depressing we want to hear things that are juicy that's what i keep seeing the main thing i keep seeing is like really depressing shit like mental illness and eating disorders and I don't know I just I just wanted this to be uplifting like a kiki with the girls and not so much like um like something depressing you get what I'm saying like not that I don't want to bring awareness to those type of issues it's just like I don't know I just don't want this to be I just want this to be uplifting and funny and you know like something that we could sip our tea about and not cry if that makes any sense all right guys thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time bye the truth will set you free, but first it'll piss you off. Mm -hmm.